So this morning while I was at work, I saw on Twitter that a new trailer for My Hero Ultra Rumble release. I wanted to make sure the first thing I did when I came home was to shower, of course, to shower because I don't want to be all musty when I'm reacting to this new trailer. But nonetheless, we're going to talk about it, dissect it frame by frame, and give my overall thoughts on the trailer. Peggy, Peggy 12. 12. That's like a European thing, right? Peggy 12. Okay. Background music kind of somber. Oh, is that Deku? Well, it's dub. Okay, yeah, that's that's the English voice actor. It's good as a dub. Okay, okay. It doesn't look too bad. Hold on. Let me see. It looked a little choppy. It is at 1080p, so I'm not too sure. Let's just rewatch that again. I'll get strong. I don't know this OSC though. I'm doing this. this sounds a little bit more familiar. I, I do like the Let's combat. Go. It looks kind of cool. People say that they borrowed a lot of the. Don't you dare hold me back, extras. I'll handle this. People say they borrowed a lot of like VFX and art yeah. from another go My Hero Academia game, game called One Justice. I never played One Justice, but. <laughs> This looks pretty cool. It looks nice. So much okay, Shogaraki, we see you. All right. <laughs> I like that. I like it. I'm so glad that they have voice lines. We don't want them to have like a Nickelodeon All Stars incident, where it's like the game just feels so soulless, you know? Oh, that's kind of hot. Okay. Oh, frog. I don't think she was in like the previous beta. The frog chick. Okay, Mountain Lady. I I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to like Mountain Lady for sure. I like it. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. I'm excited for it. That's what's up. We should go there. This is just the beginning. Oh, okay. So this is the testing period. The 18th of August to the 22nd of August, and then registration. So you have until July 31st to register for it. That's cool. I'm looking forward to this for sure. Yeah. All right. So we're going to like go back and just look at some of the clips frame by frame. I do remember in the trailer, and there's gameplay of this too. Like there's people who posted like gameplay from the Japanese only test that they did way, way back in the day. And I believe there's only one map, and it's basically the map from season one where the hero, where the villains basically just party crash the heroes, the students, I should say, party crash the students' little training day and whatnot. So this is the only map and whatnot, but that could change in the future, this, depending on how popular the game gets and whatnot. It's a 24 player only battle royale, so I guess the map shouldn't be that huge, but it shouldn't also be all that small either, you know? But I do like the fact that it is 24 players, so it won't take too long to populate each match, hopefully, and whatnot. It's I think most of this is cinematic as well. It's not too much like gameplay with the HUD. There is some like abilities that they did show. So yeah, this is like gameplay, but they say footage is under development. This is gameplay. So a com a common like punch, if I remember correctly, there was like three different attacks that each characters had. Some varied dep depending on what characters you were playing with, but mainly there was a melee attack and then projectile attack. And then some characters will have like a movement. Others might have like a defensive special or something like that. But yeah, it, it was really based on which characters you had based on the gameplay footage I've seen from the Japanese play tests. So yeah, that's Deku's little melee. Let's and I go. think each character had like different types of like a class system as well. But it wasn't like really set in stone, the class system, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, this is cinematic. Don't you dare hold me. You dare hold oh yeah, I did remember Bakugo did have like a movement ability where he was able to like somewhat glide in the air. It was a special ability that is he had. I think some players binded it to triangle or whatnot. It's kind of interesting nonetheless. So there's a lot of creativity in this game. It's not like your typical battle royale, which is nice because I think the battle royale genre also needs some creativity from just first person or third person shooter. I just like it when there's creativity in a genre and things just don't get too stale, you know? Hold me back, extra. So yeah, he can fly. So we got Todoroki here. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of Alacrity from Spellbreak. I know uh, people in the Spellbreak community are going to be comparing this game 
to spell break, but I I don't I don't think they're gonna play exactly the same. It's gonna be its own game, right? It's gonna be its own game. But there are some similarities where Spellbreak was mainly projectile based and this game has a lot of projectiles. But I feel like the combat in this game is so completely different because like I mentioned beforehand, there was like three different attacks and whatnot. But there will be some similarities. But yeah, if you guys are watching this, let me know if you guys are excited for it to come out. Yeah. Oh, that might be spoilers for some people. Like Deku being able to grapple like that. That might be spoilers. I mean, I think they show this in the anime, right? Like the fact that Deku unlocked another power or whatnot. Hopefully no one gets spoiled by this. I think I think people should know by now. You know, the interesting thing about Deku, he's basically becoming like every single like American superhero. Like he he's he, he basically is like Superman and then Spider-Man. And but now he has grappling. That's cool. I love it to see. I love it when games add grappling features. Uh, it's probably just like a character by character basis, but this is pretty cool to see nonetheless. Yeah. That Deku has grappling. Got it. Can leave this to me. Oh, so that was Todoroki's like melee attack. So yeah, it looks like each character is going to have a melee attack for sure. So his melee attack is going to be fire. I guess his ice is going to be more for mobility, this which is cool. Me. Oh yeah, Bakugo. I think I'm going to like Bakugo too, just because he has a lot of cool movement abilities as well. I love it when games have cool movement abilities. Quirk cla clashing quirks. Okay. Shudoraki. I feel like Shudoraki might be very strong. I feel like he's going to deal a lot of CC. Because this just gives me big CC vibes here. Him just going here and then probably giving you some kind of corrosion effect or poison effect to characters who step into this. Because it's purple. So I'm guessing that this is going to give you some CC. And they also mentioned villains here too. I forgot her name. So excited. Okay, it looks like he has um, a TP ability, which is interesting. TP in video games can be very tricky to get right, but it looks like his TP ability is like short range. So That's cool. And then we got All Might here. He's going to be a bruiser. Yeah, this was actually pretty cool. I know in the Spellbreak community, a lot of people wished like the stone gauntlet had like the ability to create walls and whatnot. <laughs> but this is cool. I like this. And then, then you also see like the graphics here, the foom, very comic book style V. Because even though My Hero Academia is a manga, it has it borrows a lot. It borrows a lot from like Western comics and whatnot as, as well, which is cool. I like that they added that feature. Hopefully, it doesn't like affect frames too much, you know. No, and then you got Mount Lady. Oh, it looks like she has projectiles too. So I didn't even know that she can shoot projectiles while she's in her like gigantic state like this. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like she's going to be a fan favorite for sure. Hopefully not for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Harness all your quirks in on this arena. Okay. Deku giving All Might the hands. I never thought I'll see the day. I never thought I'd see the day when the student becomes the master. Tragic. This is pretty cool. I wish... I don't know what's going on. I can't... It's like very choppy, the frame rates and whatnot. Like I have it at 1080p. Is it because it's not in 60 FPS? Is that what's going on? Is that why it looks so choppy? But this is so cool. I like this ability from Bakugo. I feel like I'm going to love Bakugo a lot nonetheless. And being able to spin like that. Oh, Yuraka is just picking up a car and just smacking people. I didn't even peep that the first time. Hold on. And then Todoroki. Okay, it looks like um Dabby's abilities like to cut people off because i think this is like dabby's fire over here that's blocking people off or something like that or it could also be the zone i'm not too sure and then you got yuraka over here just picking up a car and slapping people with it which is cool and oh she also has like some cc ability too she made some people float here as well oh she, oh she has active camo oh she could go invisible that's crazy I didn't even peep that the first time. She can go invisible. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be too OP. It's, it's probably going to be more like active camo than... It's probably going to be more active camo than like pure invisibility. That's the only way you can really balance stuff like that where people can slightly see it. Maybe she goes completely invisible if she stays still. But I like this. I like the details too. Like you see the little like water effects dripping off of her when before she's about to go invisible. And 
There we go. Oh, you see Bakugo over here about to join in the fray. Shiraki just doing a backflip because that's what villains do nowadays, I guess. They just do backflips. Oh, so he has a projectile too. I didn't even peep that. So he flips and then unleashes like a vertical attack that travels the distance a little bit. It reminds me of like the Stone Shaper Stone Slam to an extent. That's cool. I wonder if abilities can like bounce back from each other's like projectile abilities. I wonder if there's clashing basically like projectile clashing. clashing. It looks like there might be from here from what I'm seeing. Oh, this guy, he's just conjured up a stone out the woodworks. Oh, I wonder if you could use this as like a launch pad. That'd be kind of cool if you could. There's, um, oh yeah. And if you look here to the left, as you can see, there might, there's someone here that's like on the ground. So like heroes can save people. And I think saving people also boost their stats or something like that. I believe, let me see if I can freeze it. Yeah. As you can see, like there's a civilian here. And the hero's job is to save them. I don't know what villains do with civilians to boost their stats, but surely they do something. Again, I think, yeah, Dabby has something to do with, like, area control. Dabby definitely has some kind of area control here. Because he created, like, this blue fire circle flame. Turn to ash. Mount Lady got her own melee attack. Let's go. And then you got the heroic pose here. I think that's all I can really say from this trailer. It's only like a minute and 20 seconds long, the trailer, but it showed us a lot. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I know they're, they're advertising this on older gen, so it should run well on like, even on PC because they have it on PS4, Xbox one, switch steam. They're using the unreal engine. So it should run pretty well, fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, let me know how you guys feel about this game down in the comments. Are you guys looking forward to it? But yeah, till next time, stay safe and I'll see you guys later.